oviparous and viviparous. The ducklings have been longing to go on a walk since morning. That's why they went to the zoo with the mother duck. Every duckling followed the mother duck excitedly, but the youngest duckling had found something interesting. He went near the egg to know more. It was an egg. He was excited to see the egg. Who might have left their egg here? He wondered. He looked around. His mother, brothers and sisters had left him and gone far away. I will show this egg to everyone at the zoo. Someone will definitely claim it, thought the duckling. And with that, he marched towards the elephant's shed. Hey, Mrs. Elephant, is this your egg? Oh, little duckling, what are you saying? I don't lay eggs, I give birth to my calves. The duckling reached the mummy deer. Hey, mummy deer, is this your egg? Of course not, little dog. We don't lay eggs. We give birth to our fawns. Thinking that the egg must belong to Mama Red Panda, the duckling walked towards her. Hey Mama Red Panda, is this your egg? No dear child, I'm a mammal. I give birth to my cubs. I don't lay eggs. The duckling stumbled across Miss Horse while wandering through the zoo. Miss Horse, is this your egg? Oh little duckling, no. I'm a horse and therefore I give birth to my foal, not lay eggs. The duckling learned that every animal he met gave birth to the young ones. Since no one claimed the egg he had, he was even determined to find its mother. The duckling crossed paths with Mrs. Crocodile. Hey Mrs. Crocodile, do you lay eggs? I do lay eggs, that's why I am classified as an oviparous animal. So, is this egg yours? I'm afraid it's not, little duckling. This egg is small. Mine are a lot bigger than that. The sad duckling went to the mummy vulture's nest. Hey, mummy vulture, you lay eggs, don't you? Is this egg yours? I do lay eggs, little one. But all of my eggs are here with me in the nest, so that egg is not mine. Despite the series of disappointment he received, the duckling still went to Mama Ostrich. Mama Ostrich, is this your egg? I am sorry, but no, this egg is really small. I lay the biggest egg among everyone since I am the biggest bird, so that egg isn't mine. When all the oviparous animals he knew didn't claim the egg, the duckling decided to ask for the last time and visited the mummy frog. Hey mummy frog, is this your egg? I found it over there on the ground. On the ground? Then it's not mine, little duck. I lay eggs in clutches on the water. The duck returned home sad and unhappy because he couldn't find the mother of the egg. His mother, brothers and sisters also returned home at the same time. What happened, my little one? Why are you crying? I asked everyone, but still, I couldn't find the mother of this egg. Ha ha ha, that's my egg. Is it? Indeed, I remember you hatched through a similar one not a long while ago.
The little duckling was shocked, knowing that the egg belonged to his mother. Later, his face lit up with joy, knowing that he too came from one of his mother's eggs.